Hi Leo, welcome to your November full moon in Taurus lunar eclipse love tower reading. That's quite a mouthful. So welcome in Leo. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip it, switch it when you need to. Cross watchers could be a reading for you. I just want to apologize for the lawn mowing, Leo. It was unexpected and I need to get these readings done when I can. So please kind of, I guess, um, <laughs> ignore that if you can as well. All right, Leo. So we're looking at this full moon in Taurus lunar eclipse. So I just want to say right off the bat that I'm not an astrologist, but I do know a little bit what I've read about uh, about this energy. I'm just here to read the cards on the energy. Um, now the full moon can be about full circles, completions, closure, endings and new beginnings. And this Taurus energy is about, it can be about uh, testing our uh, strengths, our values, our traditions, our morals, um, because it does represent in the tarot the hierophant, the empress, and the world. So this could be, you know, birthing of new energy here, knowing our value and worth, either rising up to the occasion, growing, learning, expanding as well. But then the solar eclipse energy can bring in unexpected things as well. So, and I know a lot of the energy is more focused on like uh, work, career, success, and that kind of energy, but we'll see how that plays out. Again, I want to apologize for the lawn mowing. I'll try to talk a little bit louder. Um, see how that affects this energy. So we're going to be looking at um, the energy first, whatever your situation may be. Now, if something comes up here, you're like, ah, oh, no, I don't want it. You're probably not your reading. But anyway, we're going to look at the energy first of all, and then we'll look at how the full moon energy will affect this love situation for you, the solar eclipse. Then we'll look at, at either any more blockages or things you need to know or advice and guidance, and then energies moving forward. All right, Leo. Leo. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there, as well as my other channel in your playlist for that channel, which... Sorry, guys. I will tell you uh, about that a little bit later. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. So we have heart and soul. So there's no doubt there's a heart and soul connection here. So, wow. All right, so let's see what else we have here. We have family. So you could have a family. They could have a family. And with this tree energy, that does give me the energy of the roots run, run very, very deep like the tree of life, maybe even past lives together. This could be about creating, starting a family, blending of families as well. Intimacy, I just did get this for Aries. So a very intimate energy here. I get feel like bearing all heart and soul about what we truly want, maybe going forward. Do we want a family? Do we not want a family? I want a family. Do you want a family? Blending of families, whatever your situation may be. And we have co-creation. Wow. So I'm kind of getting here. Um, I just want to see because I did get that intimacy, the messenger. So definitely there could be a lot of messages going back and forth, communication and co-creation. here. definitely some of you could be coming together to start a family. You know, even if it's not, it may not be traditional. Maybe you're not going to get married. Maybe you will. Maybe you'll just be committed or live together. But I definitely feel like there's going to be definitely bearing of all heart and soul, being that intimate, what we truly want moving forward and co-creating together what we want moving forward. We do have family here. So Leo, let's see what is going on. Leo. All right. Now, Taurus in the tarot, um, I don't know if I said that right, does represent um, the world, the empress, and the hierophant. Like I said, I'm not an astrologist, but I definitely can read the energy around this energy. So maybe some of you uh, are astrologists, but you don't read tarot, you know, so you know what the energy is. Maybe you want to look it up. Um, probably should put a link below, but anyway. So, Leo, let's see... And that definitely, you know, Taurus energy is Earth tree. So we're definitely in the right energy. All right. So let's see, Leo. Let's take a look at your situation, Leo, during this time. 
and I do believe the the now the full moon. I think the full moon a certain sign. Well, obviously it's only till the next full moon, but I do believe the lunar eclipse is, is quite a long time. I don't remember what it said if it's like a couple of years or something like that. I'm I'm not really sure, and I know it's a blood moon as well. So, I do have the King of Cups. So there's been a lot of. Um, maybe hiding love and emotions here not revealing but there definitely is love here the emperor so it could be a masculine here who's kind of been falling in love but hiding it definitely here so we have uh, pisces and aries showing up two of wands choosing a path could be uh, maybe distance but a choice or choosing a path could be the emperor following their heart here choosing a path Night rot and then taking action. <laughs> so if this person's been inconsistent or there's been inconsistency in this connection. Now we do have like the two of wands and then this is like another one, which would be the three of wands, which would be looking out into the future. Where is this going between us um, moving forward? And six of pentacles, balancing out the energy. So the energy as it stands right now is that there needs to be equal give and take, um, reciprocity, I'm making that choice decision of the path ahead where is this going in the future where there has been inconsistency or back and forth energy and it could have been the masculine here now you can be female the masculine who maybe has been holding back their cup of love their emotions their feelings but i feel like they were getting ready to give a little bit here with this um he's holding a coin so in that six of pentacles is for me the minor of justice so Again, equal give and take, reciprocity, balance. It could be soul contracts, um, universal law and order, things meant to be, truth, clarity, justice, balance, and getting what we deserve as well. So we do have Sag, Aries, and Pisces showing up. Oh, text upside down. That doesn't help. Ace of Rods. And I did say he was kind of holding the Ace of Rods. So exciting about a new beginning here possible new beginning here choosing that path together equally balanced nine of pentacles queen oh, look at that the king queen of cups two people looking at each other definitely have love and emotions i feel like one has been holding back just a little bit now a little bit but now uh we're about to co-create where we're going to come together merge our energies and talk about the path ahead and how is this going to move forward in a balanced energy that is right for the two of us definitely love and emotions here queen of cups nine of pentacles definitely single energy so again there could be a lot of focus on work money career success abundance and definitely that is a lot of the taurus energy an exciting new beginning here so i do see cancer energy showing four of wands that could be commitment marriage leveling up celebrating ceremonies stability in the home in some way Someone could be moving, buying a new home. This might soulmate to inflame car, but it doesn't have to be. And then we have strength. There you are, Leo. Very strong connection. It cannot be denied because the roots run deep, because it could be past life. It's a lot of been it's been a lot of holding back. But it's about willpower, determination, being strong, courageous, and brave. Wow. Leo, I feel like uh someone's gonna boss up here. They're choosing a path and Let's move forward and let's see how do we can choose this path together in a balanced way. Definitely have co-creating here. So whether this is starting a family or not, it's just you could have had families in past lives as well. And it doesn't have to be actually actual children. It can actually be for babies, you know. All right, so let's see how the full moon is going to affect this. Oh, we got the devil and we got temperance now we did see strength now they say strength is the only come only thing that can overcome the devil we have the four of pentacles so this full moon there's been i think a lot of uh negative energy surrounding this connection is finally going to come to um i feel it come either full circle or come to an end four of cups any uncertainty and look at that the ten of pentacles so if there's been, um, and we do have the moon here, we are talking about the full moon, there's been any fear, illusion, uncertainty, the path ahead, 
I think, again, things are coming full circle, full closure here of any either toxic situations, negative situations um, that have been affecting you, them, internally, externally, the connection, whatever that may mean. Finally, it's going to come into balance here. Could be protecting ourselves from this energy as well. And um, wherever there was uncertainty here about this, now there's a sense of completion, um, st stable grounding, feeling more like there's an opportunity here for long-term energies. All right, so let's see what's behind there. Nine of Wands. So this has been, you know, quite a battle struggle here. Um, overwhelming energy about to come to a close. And then we have manifesting of the new energy here. Again, past lives perhaps, infinity here. We have Magician, Gemini, Virgo. And we have Building, Rebuilding, Manifesting New Energy. Let's see where this can go. You know, feeling that past life connection. It's been a struggle to kind of go down this path. There's been a lot of fear surrounding it. So we do have Pisces showing up, Gemini, Virgo, like I said. We have Sagittarius here and Capricorn. So I feel like this full moon is going to bring uh, closure on any negative aspects regarding the connection, either surrounding you, them, and like I said, internally, externally, whatever that may be, things finally coming into balance. This is peace, harmony, joy, love and light, balance, patience. There's been a lot of patience surrounding this. Um, again, past lives, healing, divine alchemy, bringing soulmates together at just the right time. It could be that any negative energies, this could be, you know, like I said, inner, outer, external, um, fear, doubt, hurt, frustration, low self-esteem, negative thinking, pessimism, that all need to be healed and dealt with and balanced out. That's why there's been holding back and uncertainty surrounding this, but with the full moon, that's all going to come to light here. There's a healing of that and balance of that and more stability, growth, expansion, possibly long-term energy here. Looking at the bigger picture, I feel, with this energy, with the full moon. Wow, okay. So, definitely with that Four of Cups, there's still that lingering energy of thinking about each other, even if there's been no communication for quite a long time. And there's been a lot of holding back with that Four of Pentacles, but it's also a sense of still thinking and letting go, but a lot of protecting, guarding one's heart. But they're still thinking about the opportunity of the Ace of Cups right here. All right, so let's see how the lunar eclipse, well, we'll have a reversal here. Ooh, death. Hmm. All right. How is the in reverse? So let's see. We are in Scorpio season right now. So usually death in reverse means, um, you know, not really like resisting letting go of something that needs to end or putting an end to something, like not letting something end that needs to, not letting the transformation happen, step into the new. So let's see what's going to happen with that energy. So someone's been resistant to change or resistant to endings and new beginnings, or they're not really wanting to let go of something. Nine wands, yeah, struggling to let go of something here. But then here comes the Page of Swords, which could be understanding, truth, clarity, conversation, communication. Hmm. Ace of Swords. So there's the divine clarity right here. So awakening, epiphany, aha moment, cutting away what's no longer starving, standing up, telling it like it is a deep conversation. Hmm. Successful new beginning. And we have two swords here. Two of swords is making a decision here. And the High Priestess. So I think the lunar eclipse here can bring unexpected energy, shock, change, revelations, surprises. So, I mean, the High Priestess can be about secret, illusion, no communication. So I feel like what's going to happen here, Leo, is you may get unexpected communication from this person if you have not been communicating for a while here. For some of you, I don't know why I'm getting with this 10 here. Maybe last time you spoke to this person was last October of 2021. And all of a sudden you're going to be shocked here that they've never given up on... I feel like 
maybe there was something they were dealing with for a very long time. And it took, seemed like it took forever for them to finally wrap this up, bring a close to it. That's why we have the death in reverse. So you could be getting unexpected communication from this person, bringing in the truth, the clarity of what took so long, what this ending was. That kind of was like stretched out for so long. And my throat is starting to get scratchy and blocked up. So that's why I feel like it could be communication. So we do have uh, Pisces here, Aquarius, Scorpio, Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, King of Swords. It brings in the truth and clarity. So we have Gemini showing up here. Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment, Page of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to take an unexpected turn for the better here. And here comes a solid communication. Let's talk about real things, the real energy going on here between us. Let's have a serious talk about total fulfillment, happiness, bringing in truth, clarity, direct communication, not beating around the bush at all. This could be someone who was uh, divorced or was divorced or divorcee. And they've had to get themselves out of a very tricky, tricky soulmate connection here or soul contract, I feel. It took a lot of strategy. Either you or them, you know, so take it how it resonates. Wow. So, hmm, interesting. I just want to see what death in reverse. It seems randomly, yeah. Sadness, loss, regret. So that's changing. That situation was full of regret, remorse, sorrow, sadness, disappointment. It was ending and they knew it. It was changing. It just, it took forever. But we have a single energy here. Happiness, joy, success, um, independent energy wish fulfillment. So this person, you may be getting communication. This person is single now. You know, maybe they had family. That's why this took so long as well. But I see two energies coming together, wanting to co-create an intimate bond, revealing heart and soul energy here and connecting on that deep level. Wow. So let's see how the solar eclipse. Now we already looked at that. We already looked at that, Mary. Get it together. Okay. I told you I'm not an astrologer. Okay, Leo, so let's see um, any other uh, advice or guidance or blockages or anything else we need to know about all this energy. Oh my God, so there's finally we're going to have this new beginning in love. I feel like finally, Ten of Cups, this Ace does go to the Ten, total happiness, joy, and fulfillment, but you need to start at the Ace, and it needs to start with truth, clarity, communication, revealing everything on an intimate level here uh, level here in the soulmate union oh my gosh leo look at that ace 10 to clarity truth somebody's setting healthy boundaries now and that's what's being um you may be getting communication how this person is finally blocked out and put healthy boundaries up against that energy now it's finally at a close and i kind of see these um Oh, like, I don't know, it looks like wheat or something. I don't know. But ready for new growth and expansion. Because whatever they were connected to, it's dead and gone. It's all dried up. It's gone. They're ready for new growth and expansion. Seven of Swords. Yeah, it took them a long time to get out of this. It took a lot of strategy. It took a lot of planning. You know, they're running out of that as fast as they can into this new soulmate union. Wow. So that's kind of what I see here. So don't worry. I think you're being lied or deceived or this person's sneaky or tricky they just had to really get themselves out of this situation maybe that's why you know this could be someone that does things by the book as with the emperor that's why maybe they kind of cut off communication or they stop talking to you but there's no denying it's a soulmate connection here with temperance so we have gemini showing up again hermit definitely is a single energy introspection but finding the path, the way, the light, illumination, healing. Queen of Swords. So we have the King, Queen of Swords. So we have a match. So a lot of truth, clarity, honest conversations coming in here. And then taking a leap of faith here with Aquarius jumping in. And I did say the Three of Wands earlier about the future together. What does it look like? Moving forward. It could be traveling or distance. Moving into peace, harmony, balance. 
magician. So manifesting away from the disappointment, the heartache and pain of the past. It's over. It's done. They already shed what they needed to shed of that. They're ready for the new. And here's, uh, I also thought that was the Six of Cups, but um, Gemini Virgo. Infinity, past lives. Choosing the new path, choosing a future together, taking that leap of faith towards someone who's very clear, direct, honest, blunt, and to the point. So we have Libra and Virgo showing up in Aquarius. Wow. So let's see, um, let's get a little more here on advice. And well, we did that. Um, oh boy. <laughs> future energies here for Leo. I mean, look at this right here. Anything else we need to know moving forward for Leo? Page of Cups, so now we're flirting, we're courting, we're dating, we're getting to know, we're bringing the romance in, the love and the emotions, the feelings, having honest communication. It's light, it's fun, it's flirty, it's new, it's authentic, it's more of an innocent, new energy. There could be children involved in this world starting of a new cycle here. Leo, Paris, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces. God, somebody could be at a distance, but you see starting to be vulnerable here as this is slipping away everything bearing all wheel of fortune fate destiny divine timing things getting better moving in the right direction things meant to be the wheel in the world always reminds me of endings and new beginnings possibly we're getting closer to the end of the year to the new year possibly being full blown into this into the new year Knight of Cups, again, for moon in love, courting, dating, getting to know, romance, uh, chivalry, chivalry, how do you say that? You know, being very authentic, old-fashioned, and the Hierophant. Oh my God, that is that Taurus energy in this full moon. Holy crap. So we have the Scorpio in the Taurus showing up. And I think we saw the, did we see the moon? I don't remember, but um, this is leveling up in a big way, moving forward here. This could lead to commitment, marriage or exclusiveness whatever that means for you leveling up changing big big energy here growing expanding learning traditions mor morals values doing the moral and just right thing tradition this person could be very very traditional as well they just you know they felt the need to do things by the book that's why they were hiding a lot but now we have a big leveling and, and change because we have five here which is change but they may want to take it slow. I mean, the energy might move slow. Let's see where it goes. But a decision will be made here. But there's no doubting the fire, the attraction between the two of you. That could be you, Leo. And then again, we're traveling or distance. If they were at a distance, they could be coming back because you see leaving and then coming back. Somebody could be mature, have a mustache. There you are, Leo, strong connection. They are so, and, and now you say like coming back right to Leo. So if they left, they're coming back. It just was a matter of time. Strong connection cannot be denied. Past lives. Positive movement forward. Drive, ambition, balance, success, victory. So we have Leo, Cancer. That's Aries, but that could be you, Leo. Life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, letting go, release. Soul contracts, past lives. Things meant to be. Final decision here. To take it slow. Let's see where it goes. I'm ready now, Leo. Let's take it slow. But that could definitely lead to the Ten of Pentacles down the road here. And we have more Scorpio energy. So we have Taurus, Scorpio. Wow. And look at that, Leo. I just cut the deck. The lover's Gemini energy. So there's no denying the soulmate connection because the roots run deep. That is for sure. So I feel like it's a long reading. But sometimes with all this energy surrounding... What's going on here with the uh, astrology? Sometimes that happens. All right. So with this deck here, um, it is the sacred world. Not a lot of people use this, but I figured, you know, world, earth, Taurus is earth, be fitting. So Leo, on my other channel, if I don't think I told you, but uh, if you'd like to check that out, I do more general kind of readings. And they're quick 10-minute readings, four of them a month. You get money, career, spirit messages, what you need to know right now in your next big change. Spirit message and next big change are both out now. So if you'd like to check that out, all the links, everything you need is below. All right, Leo. This one. Fox. We have eight, which is travel, action, movement. And we have Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this fox, you know, they have, 
I mean, it can be sneaky energy, but this, you know, very smart, wise, uh, they do a lot of planning. They know how to um, make things work in their favor. So sometimes that, I believe, is things not always being as they appear to be. So I just want to read you a little bit here about, um, let's see, that's eight. About the fox. Cleverness, prosperity, arrival of a harvest. So very abundant energy coming in for you, Leo. So what else here? Cat. And we have two, which again, choices, decisions, partnership, unities. You know, and that is can be elusive, independent kind of energy, which I feel like there's been a lot of that energy surrounding. Uh, someone could have cats. And I did say blending of fur babies, so maybe they have cats, you have cats. So how many cats do we have here? Oh my goodness, we have... Holy mackerel. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, this 15, 16 cats on this card. 17, actually. And I'm probably missing some. 18 cats? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you could have... Wow. All right. Well, that doesn't mean anything, but maybe eight, the um, number 18 may be significant. It could be a day of birth, one of you. All right. So let's see. But there's been aloofness, uh, independence. I feel like that's coming to an end. More earth energy. And we have the owl. I did get that for Aries as well. I mean, that's perspective. Higher, um, taking a higher, wider look at everything. Being wise, smart, practical. Air energy, Gemini, Vir uh, Gemini Libra, Aquarius. And sometimes I can be detached. So where there was detachment here in like aloofness, now we have abundance coming in with the fox. And we have carp, water energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we have 22. So you wouldn't reduce that. 22 is choices, decisions, partnerships, unities. I mean, we have three twos here. Two, 22 and two, three twos. And I believe carp, that is about abundance as well. So let's see. Um, I just want to read you a little bit about... Um, carp let's just see what it says here a gift from a humble place financial prosperity so this is humbling of the energy and we have like two cards of abundance coming in for you leo in this connection all right leo that's what i have for you so i hope that helped that resonate and everything you need to know is down below your playlist is down there um both channels and the link to the other channel if you'd like to check that out so wishing you the best leo and i shall see you next time